Hello and welcome to Tots Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you how the camera roll filter works inside Photoshop CC. With the new version, Creative Cloud, we have this feature here in the filter menu called camera roll filter. So we can access all the adjustments that we can use in Adobe Camera Raw now directly inside Photoshop as a filter. And that's not all because we can even use this completely non-destructively by using it on a smart object as a smart filter. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this filter in this video. So first of all, let's just try to use it uh, as a simple filter on a normal layer. I have one layer here, the background layer, and I'm just going to simply select camera row filter. Once it's selected, Photoshop opens automatically the Adobe Camera Raw plugin, and here we can make some changes. Let's just do a simple edit on this image. I would like to have a gradient on the sky, so I would like to have a nice graduated filter there. And for that, I'm going to reduce the exposure and click and drag on the sky from the top to the bottom, something like that. And I will maybe uh, reduce the exposure a little bit even more, something like that. That looks quite good. Now, apart from that, I would like to increase the clarity of this image just to make it look a bit more edgy. And then I'm going to increase the uh, shadows. So I will see more details in the shadows area, especially here in the front of the car. If I double click on this, you can see before and after. Then I'm going to reduce the highlights just a little bit like that. And then I'm going to increase the vibrance just to pump up the colors a bit in this image. Then I am going to go down and change uh, in the effects the post crop vignetting so i'm going to add a little bit of vignetting on the corners and i think that looks already much better so that was without the vignetting and if i switch back to the basic panel we can have a look before and after changing the basic adjustments so this was before and this is after i can maybe increase the vibrance even more so that's the changes i wanted to do and i'm going to click on ok so now we can see that the changes are added, but I won't be able to make amends to this uh, camera raw adjustment. So it's added as a filter, but in a destructive way. So I won't be able to make any amends to this. So instead of using it as a, a filter on a normal layer, it's always better to use the camera raw filter on a smart object as a smart filter. So I'm going to undo this step and right click on my background layer and convert it to a smart object. So that should be the first step. And then we can go to the filter menu and choose camera raw filter. Whenever you use a filter, it will also show up here on the top. So you can even select it from there or press command F. If you are using the same filter over and over again, just remember that keyboard shortcut. But I'm going to just select this option. And again, let me just do the same thing as we did before and I just add the filter first on the top, the graduated filter, then we can reduce uh, the shadows. Now the shadows is actually uh, increased. We need to increase the shadows so we see more details there. Highlights can be reduced and then we can increase clarity and vibrance and maybe increase shadows a little bit even more and then go back to effects and add a bit of post crop vignetting and it's the same till now but now comes the difference if i click on ok and I accept the changes you will see that now we have a camera roll filter here in the layers panel just below the layer itself which i can turn off to see without the adjustment and if i turn it back on i can see uh, together with the filter that i used on top of that, we, we can do a lot of other things. We can double click on this filter to go back to the uh, camera roll plugin and make amends here. Oh, that's, that's really useful. Or I can double click on this icon here to the right of the camera roll filter line. And there I can adjust the opacity of this filter or even the blend mode. So for example, if I want to tone down the effect a bit, I can just reduce the opacity of the filter. So basically with that, I'm reducing the intensity of the filter. 
But by using a blend mode, I can create even more interesting effects. For example, using overlay will make an even more edgy effect on this image. So let's see before and after. So this shows the normal blend mode and this is the overlay blend mode. Or we can use soft light as well that will again create a different effect. But let's just set this back to normal and I'm going to click on OK. And then there is one more thing I would like to show you and that is how to mask this filter. If I select this uh, rectangle here, that's actually the smart filters mask. So we can use the brush tool, for example, I'm just setting it to a soft edge brush by holding down Control and Alt and click and drag. I can change the size by dragging left and right and the hardness by dragging up and down. So I have a big brush and by drawing with black, I can draw over an area. Maybe I draw over this part here in the image to make sure I don't affect that with the filter. So just so you can see, uh, if I draw over the car, I won't affect the car with the filter. So I can create a lot of interesting effects with this, so I can make sure that nothing is affected in the image, only the car. Or if I press Command I, that will invert the effect or invert the mask and that will invert the effect itself. So you can very easily mask or change the opacity or blend mode or even the adjustment itself of the camera roll filter if it's used as a smart filter. And last but not least, we can also combine several filters together with the camera roll filter using a smart object. So once it's set up like this, we can go to the filter menu and we can even add a blur filter onto the same smart object. So we can create maybe a field blur and uh, I can define where I want the blur uh, to affect the image. So I can maybe blur the background out. Uh, actually, instead of a field blur, I'm going to use an iris blur will be easier so this is the blur tools here on the right and I'm going to create an uh, elliptical uh, area which I would like to keep in its original details so that will be the car and everything else will be blurred out and I can even increase that blur effect so now I'm going to click on OK and you will see that we have both of these uh, filters edit to the same smart object. So I can always turn them off and on again and by double clicking on them I can make amends to them as well. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found this useful and if you want to learn more about the Adobe Camera Raw plugin make sure you join me next time as well. Thanks a lot for your attention.